a new way of making ribs. You can only find this recipe in fancy restaurants. Start by cutting 1.5 kilograms of beef ribs. Slice them right next to the bone separation, just like I'm doing. Next, transfer all this meat to a large baking dish. And pour a 240 milliliter cup of milk at room temperature all over it. Then cover the baking dish with plastic wrap, take it to the fridge, and let the meat marinate for one hour. After this indicated time, transfer all the meat to a large pan. Then add enough water to cover all of it. Cover the pan, turn on the heat to medium-low power, and let it all cook for one hour and a half. Meanwhile, cut three medium onions. First, cut them in half, then in half again, and set aside. Also cut three peeled carrots, cut them into thick round slices just like I'm doing here, and also set aside. Now cut 500 grams of peeled potatoes. Cut them in half, then slice them into smaller pieces, and set aside. Once you've done that, and once the meat has cooked through, Using meat tongs, remove all the pieces from the broth and set them aside. Now, to this broth add three tablespoons of tomato paste and stir until dissolved. Leave us a comment with the name of the city from which you're watching this. I'd like to give you a shout out and thank you for sharing this recipe. Then add one teaspoon of salt, stir again and set aside. Once you've done that, into a baking dish with all the meat, add one teaspoon of salt. And sprinkle one pinch of black pepper on each piece of meat. Also add one pinch of sweet paprika, one pinch of chimichurri. Now flip the pieces of meat and sprinkle the same spices. Then add all the vegetables we sliced. Pour in the meat broth and season with salt and black pepper to taste. If you made it here, that means you're enjoying our recipe. So click the share button and share this video with all your friends. It won't cost you anything, but for us, it will make all the difference. Finally, take to a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 392 degrees Fahrenheit and let it roast for 45 minutes. Roasting time may vary depending on the power of your oven, so keep an eye out. After this indicated time, the meat and vegetables have roasted. That recipe is ready. You may now serve and enjoy it. I really hope you like this recipe. Now I'll head back to the comment section and will continue to answer everyone who left the name of their city. And I'll also thank you for sharing this recipe. See you next recipe. Bye.